received from bad deals, violations of sovereignty and lawlessness on land and sea, that the Chinese Communist Party is a predator. The U.S. has warned of Chinese debt traps. Some countries, whether it's Djibouti or its neighbors or Zambia or others, are taking on an unsustainable amount of debt from multiple sources, but much of it from China. There is a debt difficulty in Africa. We should not say crisis in the sense that there are about five countries that are really in crisis, but not the rest. There, there, there is certainly um, a stress uh, in our economic environment provoked by more debt GDP ratio, meaning more debt in relation to the size of the economy than it used to be the case before. And that is the consequence of Africa having difficulties accessing concessional funding. This concessional funding that normally is provided by international financial institutions has actually attained a record level in relation to the past. But the size of the African economies has doubled since the beginning of this century, which means that it's not enough. So Africans have to go and try to find capital to resource their economies which everybody does, and everybody has a debt to GDP ratio that is increasing, not just because of COVID, but coming from the 2008-2009 crisis. And therefore, it is just normal that Africans try to reach out to whatever partners are available uh, to provide this capital. And China happens to be the one that is the most sensitive to respond to the African demands. There is... Uh, a very large proportion of that debt that has uh, China as creditor because China has been reaching out to Africa more than the others. We cannot expect development to happen without access to capital. And Africa has definitely faced difficulties that push it down in terms of uh, its uh, possibilities for development uh, when it comes to access to finance. Africans want to access capital. They have basically uh, the possibility of going into the market, which is commercial debt. If they want to have investments, they will have to persuade foreign direct investment from different uh, origins. Or they can have the support of international financial institutions with lower interest rates. China has positioned itself in the middle between these commercial aggressive uh, rates and the concessional funding. And I think if uh, we were to ask the African leaders what their view is about China support to Africa's development, they will say China should do more, not less. If we didn't have access to these uh, possibilities offered by China, the alternative is worse, not better. So uh, we have to stop this uh, China bashing about that because it's really not helpful to Africa. If, if other partners and other different views exist about how Africa can access capital, they are most welcome, but they have to be tangible and they have to be practical. In practical terms, what we have is China being available, not the others. Africa has been trapped in a colonial model of exporting commodities without transforming them, without value addition, and being very dependent for its fiscal resources from those exports. How do you get out of this conundrum? You basically have to industrialize. So the only way Africa will be able to industrialize is by leapfrogging, by making sure that it jumps a certain number of steps and positions itself to take advantage of the latest developments uh, in, in terms of technology and, and access to energy. Uh, and China, because it's a key partner of the continent, can help in that process. Uh, instead of just engaging and saying, you know, here, here are the numbers. We have increased this much. We have built this many schools. We have done this much uh, trade. Uh, instead of just being satisfied with that, we have to go into the next wave, the next step. We have not seen major industrialization efforts in Africa supported by China, except for a few countries. You know, you, you can certainly identify a country like Ethiopia, where, you know, uh, China has had a very major role in transforming uh, their economy and making sure that they go in the path of industrialization. But we need more of that, not less.